What's up everybody, I am Mason. Welcome to the Mockbuster YouTube channel where we take a look at movies and um, and uh, talk about them. I don't know. Uh, so there's every other YouTube channel that talks about movies. Anyways, I grew up loving movies. I still love movies. Ever since I watched Spider-Man in the movie theaters when I was a little kid, I was captivated. You know, seeing on the big screen, all the live action, the stereo sound system, I was enthralled. To the point where I would basically make my parents go broke just to take me to see a movie every week. Anyways, that's my history of why I love movies. Uh, I've been watching movies my entire life, catching them on TV, uh, watching DVDs. But recently, I've been getting into Blu-ray collecting because a lot of movies I haven't seen were either on streaming services or watching them with like shitty commercials in between. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take a step up above. I'm a big boy. Let's get some friggin' Blu-rays. Now, I'm not too sure what a Blu-ray is. I know it's HD. I kinda you know, threw it aside because when I look at a Blu-ray and I look at the DVD, the DVD would always have so much extra content that the Blu-ray didn't have. Oh, just because, oh, it's, it's 1080p. But you know what? I'm like, I'm a film buff. Not really. I like movies. And I want to see them in the highest peak performance there is. Now watch it. Oh, why don't you get 4K UHD? Because I'm not going to spend $500 on a Blu-ray player and I can't get the PS5 right now. So it's Blu-ray or nothing. So uh, here I have a few titles which I got, funnily enough, at the grocery store, yes. My local Freshco had a whole stock of like movies, you know, out to eat next to the popcorn section. Now, I don't know if that's normal for uh, most people. I know I never really looked out for movies at grocery stores, but I was very surprised to see, you know, a bunch of Blu-ray titles, which aren't, which aren't the best. Some are pretty good, but I mean, I'm in this like really schlocky, shitty, low budget action film kick. So that's what I got here. So I'm gonna be talking about these titles that I got at the grocery store. So first off I got was Expendables, the extended director's cut. Uh, I've never seen Expendables. I've heard a lot of hype around it because oh my god there's so many freaking action movie heroes from like the 80s. And I'm like okay cool. I mean it stars Sylvester Stallone, Jason Statham, Jet Li, uh, Terry Crews, Dolph Lundgren, Mickey Rourke, Bruce Willis, and also Randy Couture and Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's kind of weird. Uh, I only remember Randy Couture's movie being like the Scorpion King 2, and I didn't really like that movie. And Stone Cold Steve Austin, I mean. Give me a hell yeah! I'm a big fan of professional wrestling and mixed martial arts, so two, my favorite, three of my favorite worlds colliding, you know? MMA, UFC, and action movies. Oh. I don't know, I haven't really seen reviews on it. Uh, I like the premise of all these actors being in one movie. But yeah, I'm excited to see it, and uh, it's extended and it's unrated, and it's a director's cut. So I don't know how extra long it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be extra more blood and guts. Hey you, hey you, what are you doing, man? Good. I don't know. That's my Sylvester Stallone impression. So yeah, The Expendables. Next title is Sea Biscuit. Uh, I've never seen this movie. Um, as I told you, I grew up watching the Sam Raimi Spider-Man films, starring Tobey Maguire. So when I saw that it was starring Tobey Maguire, I'm like, Sea Biscuit, Tobey Maguire riding a horse. Uh, I had to check it out. It's also featuring Jeff Bridges and uh, Chris Cooper. I don't really know who Chris Cooper is, but I know Jeff Bridges. And uh, he's the man, dude. I still got it on Blu-ray. Uh, it's a timepiece. Takes place, I believe, in the 1920s. Just judging by the art on the back. Um, I'm pretty excited to get into it. Uh, I've never seen this movie before, as I said. And yeah, Toad McGuire, Sea Biscuit, Goodness. I got all these movies for like four bucks each, so it wasn't really... I didn't really care what the movie was. But it just intrigued me, you know? And it came out a year after Spider-Man 1, so I mean, like, what's there to... What's there to gripe about? Next movie is Dunkirk. Now I love, 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 you know, World War II, World War I era war movies and, and TV shows like Band of Brothers is my favorite TV show next to Breaking Bad and Dexter, but you know, Dexter's ending was pretty shit. But uh, I love other war movies, you know, Enemy at the Gates, Saving Private Ryan, all those fun movies. I guess you'd call, would you call Forrest Gump a war movie? Kinda, I mean, Vietnam War, any, anyways. So I always wanted to see this in the movie theaters along with 1917, but I never really got the chance because at the time I was actually working at the movie theaters. That's why I got these lovely posters because I used to work at the movie theater. And I kind of like, uh, Christopher Nolan's a good actor, but Harry Styles, eh. But I saw Tom Hardy and I was like, well, maybe. And then I found out he has like no lines in the movie. So I'm like, uh, is this going to be really that good? But you know, I've heard good things about it. And uh, it says 400,000 men couldn't get home. So home came to them, you know? It's about the capturing of Dunkirk in France. It seems really promising and I'm really excited to see it, so. Next movie is The Bourne Supremacy. Uh, I've seen all these movies like 10 years ago on like Spike, uh, Spike TV. 
like a long time ago. I'm not really too familiar with these movies. I remember really liking them when I first saw them as like a 15 year old. But um, I don't know. I got on Blu-ray. This is the second movie in the series, Born Supremacy. Now I remember the first three movies being actually pretty good. The fourth movie starred Hawkeye. And uh, it was kind of weird. And then I saw the, the fifth one with my dad in the movie theaters. And I was like, mm, eh. The only interesting thing that came from Jason Bourne was, Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. And that was like a meme for like a few weeks. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know, movies and stuff like that. So maybe it's better. I don't know. I have a PS4. I'll be watching all these on my PS4. I don't know if it really supports blue, uh, ultraviolet Blu-rays and... I never got the digital copy. Um, you can just watch it online. Next movie is El Silencer. Uh, the Silencer, which is actually gonna be my first review on this channel, so stay tuned. Uh, the reason why I got it is because I was walking through my Freshco. Uh, I got some, some chicken, some broccoli, cause I'm on a, I'm on a cut. And uh, I saw the movie stand, and this is the first thing that popped in my head was, what the, Chuck Liddell, Tito Ortiz, Danny Trejo, and John Mess Johnny Messenger? I don't know who Johnny Messenger is. I don't know who that main the main character is. I saw the movie recently on uh, Amazon Prime. It's pretty good. You know, worth the Blu-ray. Eh, it doesn't really deserve all the hit that it gets. I mean, it's just a fun action movie. Uh, it doesn't take itself too seriously, but it, it's not too schlocky. You know what I'm saying? Gritty, raw, unrelenting ride through darkness. I wouldn't say that. Decent movie. Surprised that some of these MMA actors are pretty good. MMA actors. These mixed martial artists, former light heavyweight champions, are decent actors. Well, Tito Ortiz is a decent actor, but uh, Chuck Liddell? <laughs> I don't know, a weird subplot about him being a pedophile and all this weird stuff. But anyways, El Silencer. Now the last movie I found, now taken these are all cheap movies, uh, but I found Dos Age 300 and the uh, it's pretty good. I remember watching this movie a long, long time ago. Like when it first debuted on TV, uh, I was like 10 years old. It came out in 2008. I was eight years old at the time. My dad did not want me to see such violent movies and uh, like sex scenes and rape scenes and stuff like that. So I was like, ooh, I was kind of turned off. But when I saw it by myself, three o'clock in the morning on Spike TV, I was like whole or action showcase. I remember showcase TV, showcase. I was enthralled. Holy moly. Because it's... It's based off the, uh, I think, Frank Miller graphic novel, and I think it, like, depicts the, f the graphic novel really good. Like, if you could take a graphic novel and put it into film, this would be the perfect film. I know it's based on an actual battle at Thermopylae with Leonidas. Leonidas, not Leonidas, or Leonidas, as some historians call it. Leonidas, because I've been playing a lot of uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And that's also why I picked this up, because uh, it's the Spartans, and the uh, Spartans are pretty badass people. I know the the training and all that stuff was pretty brutal. But yeah, uh, I saw the sequel, Rise of an Empire, I believe, in the theaters with my friend and his dad, because we were too young, we were 14 when it came out. And it was just, I don't, it was very forgettable. Like the only scene I remember was when the main character, he bangs a Spartan lady or a Athenian lady, and then they fight later and he punches her in the face. And he's like, you fight much harder than you fuck. Go, oh, this is kind of awkward, you know? 300, so, um. Those are all the movies I found at my local Freshco grocery store. Let me know if you guys have ever seen or bought movies at a local grocery store. It was kind of surprising to me, but maybe I'm uh, out of the loop. You know, I've never really been looking for DVDs. Usually just watch on streaming services, but now I'm like, you know what? I like movies. I'm a fan. I'm a, you know, have a physical representation of my enjoyment of films. So uh, let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Mockbuster.